Hey, Antonio from Zed here. I'm recording this screencast because I think it's a great example of how Zed can make you more productive in your daily work. So I was adding a feature to Zed using Zed. And for this feature, I need a new field in the struct block properties, uh, which is called width, right? So let's go ahead and add it. Um, it's gonna use this, it's gonna be of type block width. This is a new enum I just introduced to the project. And so as soon as I save, you can see that Zed kicks off Rust Analyzer, which checks in the background. And once it's done, Zed provides me with this button that I can click on to see all the 17 errors that have been introduced uh, with this change that I just made with this new field. And uh, you can see here, um, there is this spot in block map that where we're missing width. And this is a collection of all the places where uh, width is missing essentially, right? And all the errors that that change introduced. And I want you to take a moment to reflect on how the call sites to that reference block properties are scattered throughout the code base. Like we have some in block map in several spots. We have some in display map. And imagine needing to go through each file one by one to, to make this change. Uh, not only it's time consuming, but also it could make you lose track of what you're trying to do, which is just add that width field in the first place, right? With Zed, what you can do is uh, using command D, I can select the block properties token. And if I keep hitting command D, I can select all the instances of block properties and in a single shot, go ahead and add this new block width field, right? So for the time being, let's assume I always wanna make the block width fixed. And so as soon as I save, Rust Analyzer checks again, and you can see here, like it generated a new raft of errors. This is just the way of working of Rust Analyzer. Uh, it will produce errors in several rafts, and it depends on the uh, structure of your uh, crate of your project. And so you can see here, the errors are divided into sections like one where we're missing the width and one where uh, it's saying that we're using this undeclared type block width. Let's fix that. Notice that this is a, this multi buffer, this is how we call this view, um, is just a normal editor. So I can use what I know and love about my editor and I can deploy the code action menu using command dot or clicking on the bolt icon um, to import the block width struct into the into the file, into the module. So go ahead and hit enter. And Zed will provide me with this new view. This is just a tab that uh, shows me the edit that code that the code action just produced. Because the edit was non-local, right? It wasn't part of those excerpts that we, ju we were just seeing. So it will provide me with this like breakout view of what's going on. So I'm cool with the change so I can save. And uh, as soon as I save, Rust Analyzer checks again. And now we're left with, again, a bunch of block properties, references that are missing the width field. So once again, command D, width, block width. Now it even knows like uh, where to import it from. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And again, say fixed. So I save. And after it checks, no problems in workspace.